Hello, I'm back. Today I'm going to explain to you this Shazam application. I'll break it down. If you don't know what this is, you're sitting in a restaurant or in a radio and you hear a song that you like but you don't know what it is. So you just record the song on the app and it shows you what the song is. Now before we start, sometimes I, I, turn, I tend to explain things in like I use terms and it kind of makes it a little bit confusing for some people sometimes but I promise that I will do my best to make this one a lot easier and always remember you can always ask me questions shoot me emails anything you like and I will answer you if there's anything confusing that you don't understand or you don't know just ask me about it I hope you enjoy that now before I explain it I need to remind you of what sound actually is uh, sound is pressure waves and vibrations that travel through the air and they are coming right out of your speaker or earphone right now as I'm speaking and that is why you can hear me and I'm going to make an entire video about this but that's for the future. Now every instrument produces a signal with certain characteristics such as sound amplitude and frequency. Frequency is very crucial and we'll get back to that in a second. Now when you're playing a song, the signal to each song is a combination of all the sounds in it. And if you combine all those sounds, you make a unique signal like no other. Kind of like a fingerprint. In fact, we call the key elements of the digital version, digital, digital, can't say that word. Anyway, we call the key elements of the digital version of that signal an acoustic fingerprint. Now Shazam has a huge database of fingerprints for songs and it is constantly updated with new songs. Now when you record a song for Shazam to know what it is, it takes a sample of that recording. But it's usually very complex because there's a lot of there are a lot of sounds in it, and sometimes the restaurant is quite noisy, so it's very difficult to analyze and compare to the database of fingerprints that it has. But luckily for us, this guy knows exactly how to analyze it. French physicist and mathematician. Every time I want to say mathematician, I, I confuse that word to magician. Like I was saying, French physicist and mathematician Joseph Fourier, or Joseph Fourier, in my language, it's Joseph Fourier, Fourier, because we say R like Fourier. He came up with what's known as a Fourier transform, and it is a way to look at signals in terms of their frequency as time goes by. It is very useful because the Shazam database is based on energy peaks for frequency patterns. Now the next step for the application, it plays a comparison game to try and match it with the information that it has. And as soon as it finds the match, it fetches the information of the songs associated with your recording. So let's do a very quick recap. You record the song, it converts it to digital if it's needed, I'm really not sure. Next Fourier transform and then it compares it with the database and fetches the song and it gets back to you with the information. 